The following depicts a vulgar, budding alcoholic saying and doing stupid shit. This content is not appropriate for all viewers. Hello to all you beautiful people out there, Regnella over here bringing you a Minecraft episode. Now, if you haven't seen the update video thing I did for Minecraft lately, here's the gist of it. Uh, the world I am in currently is the very first world I've ever done, but I never properly completed it. And so I thought, uh, in honor of the 1.16 nether update coming around uh, any day now, I wanted to go back and actually complete this world a bit legitimately for a change. And, you know, uh, break my nasty habit of never completing Minecraft worlds. Like, I will start them, I will build a few things, then I get distracted by a shiny object, and like a lemming, I jump off a cliff and do other things. So, uh, in this world here, there are a bunch of items that are already kind of uh, at my disposal. And uh, since then, if you haven't seen the stream that I uh, did last weekend, then um, uh, I went ahead and tore down the giant monolith thing, got rid of some items that I'm pretty sure were the results of me cheating. And so, that way I don't have too many advantages here. So uh, there are a few things that were still lying around though that I am keeping and that's because I did obtain them in the, uh, the world legitimately. But since the last time uh, I spoke to you guys, uh, I made some changes. So uh, I have a couple of enchanted items which uh, were all the results of me fishing and using some of the experience that I already had uh, before I uh, went on my very long hiatus and uh, you might notice on the very top right corner of the screen the it's the bad omen <laughs> uh, status effect because i've been hounded by pillagers left and right almost every single end game day to the, it's come to the point where i've been calling them girl scouts because they're just fucking everywhere man and uh I, and good god like this is, you know how some people, they have the heads of their enemies uh, put on the spears and the splayed outside? You know, I've just got this collection of banners of these assholes, and they, they're just going to be on display for me. And in fact, uh, I should um, uh, I should post some screenshots uh, of these guys in action. They even infiltrated my little abbey here, which, uh, uh, ironically, I, I, didn't, I didn't think I had a name for this place. I thought it was just the first structure I ever built, but... I have a different world where all my major projects are in, and apparently this uh, this abbey is called Reina Abbey. So I'm gonna try to remember that for future videos. And uh, so, uh, before we get started with what we're gonna be doing, I wanna go over some of the changes that, uh, that I have done just to kind of uh, document what I've done off camera. Uh, first and foremost, you might see over here, got a bunch of freaking chickens, and uh, well, they're just there to give me eggs, and uh, that's that's going to relate to what we're going to be doing today. So, you know, just uh, bear in mind there. Um, I try not to make any major changes in the world outside of some landscaping. So if we go out over here, there's probably going to be some bad guys out here because I started this video when it was nighttime. Uh, okay, so we have some trees, and uh, these are going to be for the house that I am going to be working on. So I cleared out this big chunk back here. There's a lot of stuff uh, of uh, of the you know the the landscape, so the the dirt, the grass blocks, the uh, the stone, all that good stuff. And so uh, I don't know if I have a uh, uh, of a before picture of what this all looked like. I'd have to probably go and get a screenshot of uh, one of the last videos I did where this portion might have been covered, and so you can see exactly how much work that uh, that I've done. And so another thing that uh, I've done is uh, made a pickaxe and almost destroyed this pickaxe, as well as a shovel. Got them some enchantments. And uh, believe you me, folks, uh, don't ever underestimate a shovel with efficiency four. It's it's practically insta mining at one point. It's amazing, and it's uh, really saved me a lot of time here. Uh, also, you might be noticing this little cobblestone thing over here. Um, and what this is, uh, and I don't know if I discovered this by cheating or if I, it was legitimate, but uh, down here there is a skeleton spawner and, and a dungeon. And so I'm going to convert that to a mob grinder at some point, but, um, you know, well, w first things first, you know. Uh, over at the, let's see, the uh, the main 
starting area that, that I had and I showed off. Uh, there is an upstairs area, so if I can go over here and uh, you see that kind of second floor, there is a chest in there that's filled with command blocks. And uh, as I mentioned in the uh, original video, that uh, that's going to be my only method of cheating, just uh, just so I can get to places uh, faster as opposed to just traveling. So uh, I think I'm forgetting a couple things, but that's basically the gist of it. Um, I've just been doing a lot of preparation work, but uh, the thing I notice is that uh, this little this little system I have here, um, it filled up really fast, <laughs> like way faster than I thought it would. I've been spending a lot of time fishing. That's why I was able to uh, getting uh, get a fishing rod and a bow, both with uh, mending enchantments. And uh, during that time, this just filled up. Uh, like all the hoppers in here, they're filled up. Oh my god! And oh, the, all these eggs. So I need something to do with all these eggs. And that gets me into what I'm going to be doing today. I am going to be making an automatic chicken grinder because those are awesome and it uh well, it makes the uh the the chickens um well makes them get nice and cooked too so uh the things i'm gonna need here are let's see i need three bows i'm gonna need some observers i'm gonna need some redstone so this is gonna be a uh, not so official redstone crafting video as a matter of fact so i'm gonna try to get the the baseline portions uh out and done with i realize i'm gonna need some glass and so uh let's see get some uh coal over here and that's uh to, to make a window for this project um and so the the point of all this is um uh to make it so i have easy access to cooked food and also just as importantly um what's it uh feathers because um, I'm the, I guess I'm the idiot that prefers to have a mending enchantment on my items as opposed to uh, infinity. Uh, so I'm always going to be limited by the number of arrows, which doesn't really bother me that much. But uh, broken tools do. Like, uh, so I figured that uh, this is a good way to do both. Now, if you excuse me, real quick, <coughs> gonna clear my throat a little bit. No, I do not have the coronavirus. Um, but uh, thanks for asking if you're wondering. And if you're not wondering and hoping I get the coronavirus, uh, screw you too. Um, okay, so the next thing I'm going to need is uh, I'm going to need my nether quartz, which uh, I was able to load a little bit more of the nether. So I was able to find the uh, the nether quartz. I didn't go too far in because, well, it's the nether and that, that nether is going to be very temporary. Let's see. I'm going to need some cobblestone. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm going to get a couple stacks over here. That way I'm not going back and forth. I'm probably going to be doing that anyway because I'm very forgetful and I tend to overlook minute details. And I just remembered one. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm just get it from over here. I need some chests. I'm going to need, let's see, I'm going to need two hoppers uh, for this, uh, this project. Um, let's see. Just going to throw out a bunch of these. I'm not taking out the entire stacks and let's see gotta get some iron ingots let's put one of those over there so uh, I'm gathering a bunch of wood that way I can start with the house which is going to be done in another episode at uh, at some point um, okay so first things first we're gonna make two chests and uh, this is all because I uh, actually I need to make three chests uh, two for hoppers and uh, one for a collection chest all right so there we go See, throw this in here. Boop. Nice. All right. Get those over here. Get some glass. And all the glass portion is is sort of a, in an observatory of sorts. As a matter of fact, I do need some uh, regular stones. I'm going to take some of this right here. Which I didn't need to do that. Oh, hey, it's already prepared for me. Great. Uh, okay, so I got some sticks. I got redstone. Okay, I think I might have everything I need. So, or actually, I can't do that just yet. So I need to make some uh, torches. So um, a lot of my projects I like to have is uh, some sort of uh, temporary automated system. That way I can push a button and then it lasts for however long it needs to last. And then it uh, 
uh, then it just goes back to normal. So the best way I do that is with um, comparators. But in order to get uh, the comparators, I need to get my head on my ass for a second and actually think for a change. Now the next question is, is where I should put this chicken grinder at? I'm gonna need some degree of space. So I'm just gonna take a look out here, see if there's anything, um, anything not so friendly, anything that wants to maybe take a chunk out of my face. I am not, oh, there's a spider. And, let's see, there we go. I like this bow because it's really powerful and a lot of things just die in one hit. And plus it's mending, so it, uh, it fixes itself. So, hmm, I am thinking maybe over here, just somewhere over here. I'm gonna need a fair bit of space, not, uh, not too much. But, um, you know, don't want to uh, underestimate the sort of space I need. So, I'm going to start this off, well, getting rid of a bunch of this crap. Alright, so I'm going to start off, uh, about, yeah, maybe this size. And so, I'm going to kind of work backwards here. So, I'm going to have my outgoing chest right there. And I just remembered there is something I forgot, but uh, it's not so pressing right now, so I could forget about it temporarily. I need to go back to it uh, at some point, and uh, that is just to make a stone slab. Now, uh, this design is not mine. Uh, it is a design I looked up on YouTube because I was looking up animal grinders, and uh, this one just happened to be a really nice grinder. Uh, okay, so next thing I need are my dispensers. And so these dispensers are going to be one on top of the other, like so. And uh, let's see, I believe, and a lot of this is going by memory, so you know, if I screw up, uh, bear with me here. I'm, uh, I'm trying my best. Um, oh, actually, I need, um, I need uh, another comparator. All right, I will go back and do that. I just remembered. Because uh, that hopper is going to have something, and then that uh, that something is going to power a comparator, which is going to be read by an observer, which is going to tell another observer, which is going to do all sorts of other shenanigans. Alright. So, I believe, actually, I need to be on top here. And... Perfect. Let's see. That dispenser is going to be used later. And put it right about here. No, that is not what I want. Dispensers, or the, uh, the observers, tend to be a frustrating item for me. Ah, crap. They never seem to work, or they, they never seem to orient in a way that I want them to. Okay, and let's see, gotta put an observer right here. And then place a bit of redstone dust right there. Okay, so if you have no idea what's going on here, let me try to, to walk you through it. Uh, okay, so the first thing that's gonna happen is that we are gonna have a series of chickens that are gonna be in this area right here. And it's gonna be a uh, one block of space, so they can't go anywhere. When those chickens are adults, they are going to lay eggs and they are going to be thrown uh, into uh, this dispenser right here. But at the same time, as soon as the egg goes into this hopper, it now has something inside of it, which is going to cause this comparator to activate. This comparator will then be seen by this observer, which will send out a redstone signal into the redstone dust behind it which will be seen by this observer, which in turn will power both of these dispensers. Now, where does the lava come in place here? All right, so I'm gonna put the lava on the top portion right here, because that's where it needs to go. And uh, let's see, where's the stone slab at? Perfect. We just need one. Uh, unfortunately, for some reason, I decided to make a lot more than just three. So uh, the eggs will be fired out from this uh, bottom one. And if a chicken comes out, great. Baby chickens are not tall enough to get burned by lava, but adult chickens are. And so when that happens, then the adult chickens will get set on fire, which will cause their meat to be nice and toasty, which will then get picked, be picked up by this, uh, this hopper here and put 
this chest. Perfect. Brilliant. Now, the uh, the next goal here is to get the chickens into this uh, one block space here. And the way we're going to do that is we are going to make a redstone timer that's going to be powered by a... Um, I guess you, uh, I, I don't remember the exact terminology uh, and you know, I'm kind of a redstone engineer here. So, you know, I should know these, uh, these terminologies, but um, it's going to be powered by uh, a thing, a redstone, a redstone torch. And let's see these, uh, these redstone comparators. So let's see, as a matter of fact, I might need one more. And I think I'm also going to need some, um, let's see, repeaters. So I'm going to have to go back and do that. Okay, so by pressing this button, this should set off the redstone timer for a set period of time. There we go, perfect. And now what this is gonna do is it's going to fire eggs uh, for so long, and then it's gonna automatically shut itself off. And so by putting some glass, I'm gonna some right here. This will allow me to keep an eye on the on chickens when they uh, when they come out, and let's see. The next thing I'm going to do is uh, well seal this portion off because we don't want our uh, our baby chickens to be getting loose. We want to make sure that we can see their demise. We want to see the fear and the life leaving their eyes. That way, they uh, they understand that they exist in this world to provide us with feathers and cooked meat. Yes, that sounds very psychotic, and it is, but um, this is Minecraft, so the the only th thing that uh, that uh, that would be proud of us at this point is probably Tyson Farms. You never know. Uh, okay, so this over here, and okay, and since this glass is uh, considered a transparent block, I can still be I'm still able to open up this chest here. Not a problem. Perfect. All right, all that's left is to get a bunch of eggs and throw them into the first dispenser so they can, uh, so they can, uh, you know, produce some chicken eggs or some, uh, some chickens. That way they can produce more chicken eggs for the chickens that, will be, uh, that we will be feasting upon. So I'm going to go over here and, uh, oh, wow. Just, uh, Man, this is a flood. Okay. All those hoppers are probably full, too. All right, that's what we're looking at. And that thing's just going to keep filling up. I'm going to use those other eggs for pumpkin pies at some point. Because those are a nice... Uh, that's a nice item to mass produce. Even though it's not good for saturation whatsoever. All right. Here we go. All right, so I push a button. You hear that? Yeah, that's uh, that's a bunch of uh, eggs that are being tossed. Now this is probably going to be a slow process, and uh, we're not, probably not going to get too many chickens out of this. But the uh, the goal of this is to get as many chickens in that first spot as possible. That way, our uh, additional egg yield for the second portion is even greater. So I can hear one baby chicken that was hatched already. This is like, um, uh, this is like playing Sonic Adventure in Sonic Adventure 2 where, uh, with the chow eggs in order to get the chow out of the egg instead of, you know, being loving and nurturing. Um, you are throwing it against a wall and uh, forcing it out. I'm available to babysit, by the way. Okay, I've used up all the eggs that were in this uh, first dispenser, and as a matter of fact, I think there is an upper limit of how many chickens can be in one place, because I'm pretty sure I saw a few dying. Uh, but in any case, um, in the live stream, I will uh, go ahead and, uh, and make this look better, because this looks god-awful. Like, this looks horrendous. But uh, this is just a proof of concept, and to uh, make it so... The actual, um, uh, the physical portion of the, uh, or the the uh, the meat of the actual device is up and running. That way, 
I could still get what I'm looking for. But uh, for the most part, this is uh, this is only going to be ugly temporarily. I might throw out all of this here and use it in different projects. But uh, for the most part, this um, this project is pretty much done. Um, once these uh, chicks grow up into actual chickens, wow, man, there's there's so many of them in there. Holy shit! Um, but uh, once this is all uh, these uh, these chicks have all grown up in the full grown chickens and uh, they are throwing out their 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 children in here then uh, we could get a better understanding of how it works but that's probably gonna take a while I'm gonna do some other things so um, um, when everything is ready off camera then I will come back to this all right folks I am back and all the chickens have grown up unfortunately there is uh, such a thing as well uh, limited space when it comes to mobs all those tiny little chickens were nice and compact into with each other. They almost look like they were fusing into one. Um, unfortunately, when they grow up, um, things get shuffled around a little bit and uh, suffocation is a thing. Um, so I got a couple things of raw chickens that just kind of popped out through the back here, which that was kind of cool. Um, but, and uh, here's the thing that um, uh, helped me verify that this um, machine is in fact working is that um, the feathers were taken up by this uh, hopper down below and it was spat out by the dispenser over here and they all ended up into this chest. However, the other thing that happened is that the lava also kind of spat out too. So at the very least, this, um, this grinder is operational. I could say with, uh, I'd say about 90% certainty. Now, the thing to bear in mind is that this is not the most efficient mob grinder out there. I just think it's one of the coolest ones because uh, you can really implement the design of this into something that's pretty neat. Now, obviously, this thing is an eyesore as it is. So, uh, that's something that, uh, that, that I'm going to fix. So, this weekend, I am going to be... Uh, doing a live stream, maybe a little one that's a little on the shorter side where I am going to fix this all up and make it look nice and neat. So if you want to uh, get in on that, uh, be sure to follow me on Twitch, which uh, to, that link is uh, twitch.tv uh, twitch slash Regnella underscore. Now it used to be Regnella underscore uh, W. Um, oh, hey, there's a little baby chick. Okay, great. Um, but, um, I decided to, to drop that portion. I changed it mildly. I, I wanted, wanted to go to, uh, just Regnella, but apparently some a-hole has already taken up that name. Um, so I'm not going to worry about it, but the, the link will be down below and, uh, I'm going to shoot for Saturday uh, afternoon, probably around noon Pacific standard time. So that's, uh, that's the West coast of the U S and so that includes uh, Washington, Oregon, California. So if you're in those areas, then uh, you'll be okay time-wise. If not, then uh, you might have some difficulties. So uh, make sure you have some some sort of converter out. But um, yeah, so in the uh, in the very near future, I'm gonna be enjoying this uh, tasty little chicken right here. Oh man, you look good. And I'm um, chicken thighs. Ah, uh, gonna have you with barbecue sauce and everything. But uh, anyways, that's going to do it for me in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in any of my other content, be sure to hit on one of the annotations that will be featured at the end of this video. And I hope you all have a fantastic day. Take care, people.